All right, so today we're going to prove the trig identity. So here, where would you start? Yes. Yeah. So sine of 2u is what? Sine of u plus u. So it's a sum of sine. So what is the sum of sine identity? It is sine, cosine, sine, cosine. And what happens to the sine in the middle for sine? Stays the same. If you're not sure, please look at the formula sheet. And here comes u, 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 right? Because they're both u's. So then what is sine u, cosine u, plus sine u, cosine u? Two of them, right? Two, sine u, cosine u, which is what we are trying to prove. And please don't forget to write the last statement. Say these two are equal. Done. Okay? This is actually an identity. This is called double identity. Instead of u, you have double u. It's two sine of u, cosine of u. Okay? Number two, what would you do? Now, split 4x into what? 2x plus 2x. So again, it is sum of a sine identity. So sine, it is sine, cosine, plus same sign, remember sign, they, it keeps the same sign. Sine, cosine, and it's u, v, v, u, but they're both two x's, so just write two x, two x, two x, two x. So sine two x, cosine two x, plus sine two x, cosine two x is, again, two sine two x, cosine two x which is same as 2, sine 2x, cosine 2x. Okay? So what you just proved is actually one of the identity that's going to be given on the formula sheet. So take out your purple formula sheet and see which ones are given and which ones are not. These are called double identities, double angle identities. Which one do you see? You see sine and cosine. So sine is what we just proved, so this is easy. But cosine, you have three choices. So the most important thing is you make a good choice out of those three. What, of, what else? Is that all given to you? Not tangent. So add it. You can add this to do the homework. But on the progress check, what would you do? If you don't remember this, you will do? Sine of double angle divided by sin, cosine of double angle, any of these three. But for the homework, you can go ahead and add tangent and use the Okay? Try number three. And if I were you, always start from, I mean, you get to choose whether you go left to right or right to left. Always start from double identities because it's hard to go to double, but it's easier to go from the double identity, okay? So it is two times, wait a minute, do we have a double identity for cosecant? No, so what would you do? That same as what, two over sine square of x, I'm sorry, just sine of 2x, so then it is 2 over, what sine of 2x? We just proved it, so you should kind of memorize it by now, right? It is, it is what, 2 sine of x, cosine of x, remember it's this one right here, yeah, this one right here, which we just proved. So then what? 
So one, two, get canceled out. So you have one over sine of x, cosine of x, and then what would you do? Yeah, look at the right hand side. So we're, our goal is to make the left equal to the right. So what can we do? How can we make tangent out of something over cosine? If you multiply by sine, if you had sine on top, right? But you cannot just put sine on top. If you want to put sine on top, you can also, if you want to, then you have to also divide by sine of x in denominator, right? What is sine of x over sine of x equal to? One. So can we multiply anything by one? Yes. Then, what do we get? So this will be what? Yeah, sine over x over, let's put the signs together, sine square root of x and cosine of x. Do you see a tangent? So then, we get a tangent here, tangent of x. And what's 1 over times 1 over sine square root of x? Cosecant square root of x. Was that what we are trying to solve for? Cosecant square root of x and tangent of x. That's how we do it. Any questions? Try number four. There's no four. You're just going to copy it down. Ooh. So from here, again, it's easier to move from an expression when it's not just out of x. So let's start from 3x. What would you do with 3x? Yeah, 2x plus x. So it is sine of 2x plus x. So that becomes a what? Sum, right? So sum of sine is what? Sine, cosine. And then what do we do with the sine? The expression plus, and you have sine and cosine. U, V, V, U, right? So it's 2x, x, then x, and 2x. Now what can you do from there? Substitute what sine of 2x is and substitute what sine of 2x is. You cannot factor a sine of x because this is sine of x and this is sine of 2x. They are different terms. Okay. So, again, always whenever you have double identity, use the identity to write it in terms of just x. So what's sine of 2x? 2 times sine of x, cosine of x. And then you have cosine, copy down cosine, plus sine of x. And here's the question. How many choices we have for cosine of 2x? Three. So you have to choose which one. Which one would you use? Look at the right-hand side. Which one looks similar to it? Not the first one, right? You are not going to write it as cosine square root of theta minus 2 sine square root theta. I'll do times 2 cosine square root theta minus 1. Right? What if it doesn't work? Oh, yeah, x. What would you do if it doesn't work? Yeah, just go ahead and try the other one. I'm sure you have plenty of time to do it. So now, is there anything that we can factor out? Anything in common from left and right? Huh? You do? But this is 2 cosine square root of x minus 1. This is one whole term, so you cannot just take out cosine square root of x from 1. You should also have it there. Well, anything else? 
sine of x and sine of x. Take it out. Isn't that what we're looking for? Sine of x outside. So take out sine of x. Then you are left with 2 parentheses, right? 2 cosine of x times cosine of x, or it's squared. And you take out sine, you're left with 2 and cosine squared of x. Plus, take out sine of x. So then you're just left with this whole thing, right? 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. Are we close to what we are trying to get to? Yes. So you just got to combine these two, right? So I have sine of x. 2 cosine squared of x plus 2 cosine of squared x is 4 cosine squared of x and minus 1. How does it look? Good? Yes. And you will just go ahead and copy the same thing. I understand it gets harder, but it's not impossible, right? You just need some practice. 